In the last episode, we applied VHT Wrinkle Plus, finishing up the restoration of the El Camino's major components and giving the engine a custom classic touch. Now that the driveline is out, we move on to cleaning up the engine bay, frame, and components to prep everything for paint. All right, so we're pushing the El Camino offside because uh, the engine's out. It gives us the perfect opportunity to access the whole engine bay, clean up this frame, and get everything prepped and ready for paint. All right, so we went ahead and pulled out pretty much everything we could there from underneath the hood, including the inner wells, hood hinge brackets, and alternator we have sitting here. So we have a lot of parts to go through, get all sanded down, cleaned up. We're gonna apply the truck bed coating on the inner wells. We're gonna hit up the bracketry with some more engine enamel. We're gonna start off with the prep spray to get these all cleaned up. These brackets have some oil on them, so just want to make sure we have a good, clean surface. Even before we start sanding it, we'll sand it down, give it another spray, and then it's ready for paint. All right, so we had the inner wells removed. Driver's side came out okay, of course, because we had that out last time we did the car. Went ahead, pulled the passenger side out, and ran into all sorts of issues. We found out that the battery that was in here, at least at some point in time, uh, was leaking, and it started to rust everything around here. So the inner structure of the fender is completely gone. The core support is pretty rusty as well. I think that's salvageable. Uh, the lower fender is also rotted all sorts of Swiss cheese going on down here. So between that and the inner structure being completely missing, I think we're gonna to have to end up replacing this fender. All right, so we really got carried away here. Actually, I should say very ambitious. We, we uh, decided to go ahead and remove the entire uh, heating and AC system out of this car just because it didn't work uh, when we got the car it was all disconnected So Mark and I just went ahead and pulled all that out left this big gaping hole here We're going to cover it up with the plate It leaves us a lot of room to work with as well and we'll really show off that engine once it's done So Mark is cleaning uh, the engine bay here just finishing it up with the foaming prep spray I'm gonna use a salt prep spray give this a good cleaning just because there's still some grease and oils that the pressure washing didn't get to because we really blasted this thing good, but we want to finish it off with a prep spray, make sure it's good and clean. We have a good solid foundation for the VHT roll bar and chassis paint. All right, well, once we're finished wiping things down, we'll uh, mask things off that we don't want to get the paint on, and then we'll be good to go. To give us better access to the frame and suspension, we jacked up the car and removed both front wheels. This will give us plenty of room before painting and to help with any final prep and cleaning before laying down the masking paper. <laughs> we 
we also removed the steering linkage, gearbox, and stabilizer bar to blast the 40 years of sludge off those components since they will also be getting a fresh coat of paint. All right, so Mark and Bill are attacking the frame here and also going to do the firewall. Now we went ahead and cleaned this all down. We have it degreased and of course prepped for paint. Now we have a lot of bare metal on this frame as well. And one of the unique properties that for the roll bar and chassis paint is primer is not needed. It's designed to bond directly to bare metal as well as a little bit of rust. So they're going to town here. Uh, now we did choose the satin black. This is offered in both gloss and satin. We feel that the satin is really going to look nice across the entire engine bay and the frame itself. So I'm going to pop this cap off here and give them a hand. All right, Bill and Mark went ahead and cleaned up the steering gearbox and also the steering linkage. I have the stabilizer bar here sitting all pretty with a good coat of Dupacolor acrylic enamel gray. Now this gray will contrast well with the black frame. So once I get this all finished up and they have their parts finished up, we'll get those bolted back on the car. Finished up the engine bay with the VHT roll bar and chassis paint. We did the firewall, the frame, some of the suspension. We also hit the whole steering assembly with the Duper Color Premium and Colic Enamel Gray, and everything turned out great. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing all bolted back together. Things kind of buttoned up under the hood, and maybe we'll get the engine in soon. All right, so we're to the point of putting the engine back in. The engine bay is all nice and painted. Of course, the engine is painted as well. We have the uh, Duplicolor engine paint on there. We have the wrinkle finish. Everything's looking excellent. We've got Bill and Mark here giving us, or giving me a hand. Just rolling the jack underneath there. Gonna get the transmission all jacked up so we can go ahead and slide this motor back in. In the next episode, we shift our focus to the exhaust system where we'll clean up the headers and refinish them with VHT flame-proof high temperature coating. To keep up on the latest from Dupacolor, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and visit dupacolor.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more great videos from Dupacolor.